what I'd like to show you is a very brief video. Um, this is from somebody named Ivan0135. This video was uploaded on April 13th, 2011. I didn't notice this until October of that year. Uh, apparently, this video was uploaded uh, from the old Soviet Union, which I believe collapsed in 1989. Um, and the intelligence agency and the secret police was called the KGB. And some of these videos and some of their files leaked out to the public. Um, this is a uh, confidential video uh, that depicts a alien entity that is not from um, this world. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and press play. I'll let you guys take a look at it for those who haven't seen this. It's the most amazing video, I believe, that shows that aliens could be real. See it blinking? When it blinks, the whole top part of the head, not the whole top, but the big chunk of it where above the eyelids are, goes down. You can see the fingers are moving a little bit. This is a slow, this is in slow motion. Look how skinny the torso is. And if you take a look at its head, um, and, and then, and then you take it, yeah, let me do that. Take a look at its head and then compare it to, let's say, its shoulders, it's quite amazing to see the difference. I mean, the head is probably three times the cranial circumference of a human head. And if you take a, a line and just go straight down, it's almost the same width as the entity's shoulders. It's just a massive head. Um, let me go back. So this was filmed the night between 1942 and 1969. I'm going to go ahead and adjust this. And what I'm going to do is put this on a playback speed of 0.75 instead of 50. Um, I, I've seen a lot of UFO documentaries and alien autopsy, and I got to tell you, out of everyone I've seen, if this if this is a hoax, my God, is this a great hoax? I mean, this guy should work for Hollywood. Take a look at that neck muscle. I mean, it seems like to me, just by looking at this image from this way down, that. It's almost like the head is on backwards, like this is the back, and that the other side should be where his chest is. You know what I mean? It, it, to me, it does. It looks like it's so the, it's so flat that it almost seems like the head's on backwards. <laughs> I don't know. Um, it's just so straight here. It almost, to me, could look like you know the the head is in a different. The right or wrong, it just looks weird. Because our necks sit back a little bit. Like we'll have a little bit of a chest here. And theirs is just like their chest goes straight up to the neck. You understand? It's like here's his chest and, and, the, and the torso. And it goes right into the neck straight up. There's no separation between the upper chest and the neck put, being pulled pushed back a little bit. It's just like straight up. Um... And the other thing is, my gosh, look at the, um, I mean, look at the neck muscle in this. This is really something. And I would imagine that it would have to be an enormous neck. Um, it, this is almost like bulging out and going straight into the cranium. And it would have to be strong and, and somewhat figured like this just to hold the weight of a headlight that large. 
I mean, that head is enormous. The brain density has got to be, like I said, three to five times larger than ours. Um, and then, of course, you have these eyes. Now, this is overexposed. So it's a little darker, and this, this whole area is not as, it's not his eye. A, a big chunk of it is, but a lot of this darkness is just a shadowing effect. And then you look at this little slip here is the nose and the mouth, which is tiny. I mean, again, if this is a hoax, it is fantastic uh, because the fluidity of this and, and also the video, the, the video uh, insignias, um, the type of quality of the video all resembles the 1942 to 1969 technology. Um, so to me, I, I, I believe this to be authentic. Here is the nails. Uh, you've got your... Um, you know, you got a really long thumb down here. You actually have uh, black nails. Let me pause this and, and show you. There we go. There we go. So you got black thumbnails. Uh, if you want to call it a thumb, it looks like a finger. Very long. Here's another one. And, and the fingers are only four of them. The legs, I mean, obviously kneecaps, but look how long these legs are. But then when you get to the torso area... Um, it looks like he's wearing one of those suits that, uh, doesn't seem to me it has any type of, uh, thread line. I don't know if that's one or not. I'm not sure if it's just a little disheveled. I don't know. But, again... I can't do it on this camera. It's too bad. All right, I tried. Uh, you can see the eye if you really brighten this up. And you can see it's really quite big. It's really crazy. Um, anyways, this looks like an alien to me. I mean, could it be someone who's disfigured or has some sort of weird physical, um, you know, uh, uh, deformity? Sure. Uh, it, maybe it's possible, but I, I don't think it is. I don't. I think this is. Um, I think this has the best chance of being legitimate. I think the blinking of the eyes and all that other stuff makes it authentic and fluid. And I just look at the cheekbones. Look at look at the type of um, organic type of structuring that I don't think anybody could fake this this well. I could be wrong, but I, I don't think so. Tiny, just like the way Bob Lazar described them. Tiny, tiny little guys, you know. So if anybody wants to see this video, go on um, Ivan0135, type it in on YouTube, and you're going to see this. And it's just amazing. My video right now is not doing any, any justice to this, but the blinking of the eye, the fluid motion of the arms, the neck, the fingers that are twitching in the other video, uh, the, the blinking just has me sold on it. It's, there's no puppet strings here. And the anatomy is so unique and, and rare. Four fingers, black nails, the arms are very long, skinny torso. I mean, these it's like a little doll. But it's blinking. It's a real entity. What do you guys think? Ivan0135, it's been out for years. I think this is the best alien proof that life does exist outside of this planet. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.